Let theta be the angle in standard position whose terminal side contains the point negative 3, negative 5. Find the values of the six trigonometric functions of theta. So first of all, we want to draw this angle, and so we're going to plot the point that's on its terminal side. So we need negative 3 and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the point negative 3, negative 5 is on the terminal side. So here's our terminal side and here's our angle theta. So we're going to make a triangle and we are going to label the sides and we're going to also include the negatives and that will take care of the correct signs on the trig functions. So this we went over negative 3 and we went down 5. Now, if we want to know the six trigonometric functions of theta, then we can use this triangle and the sides of this triangle. We're going to need the hypotenuse, and so I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So negative 3 squared plus negative 5 squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. So that's going to be 9 plus 25 equals c squared. And so c squared is 34, and c is square root of 34. We don't worry about the plus minus because this is the length of a side. So this hypotenuse is square root of 34. Now we are ready to find all of our trig functions. Let's start with cosine theta. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and if you have the sides marked with negatives for the quadrant they're in, then you can just go ahead and take adjacent over hypotenuse and that will be the correct cosine value. So we're going to do adjacent over hypotenuse. If you had just labeled the sides of the triangle with 3 and 5, then you would need to consider what the sine of cosine is in quadrant 3. But by labeling the sides with negatives when the x and or y values are negative, then that will take care of that part for you. Okay, let's do sine theta. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is negative 5 and hypotenuse is square root of 34. Now let's do tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be negative 5 over negative 3. And then we can simplify that by canceling these negatives. And so that would be 5 thirds. Now the other three are reciprocal functions. Uh, reciprocal function for cosine is secant, so let's do secant theta and that will just be taking the reciprocal of what the cosine was, so that's going to be negative square root 34 over 3. And for sine theta, its reciprocal function is cosecant. So we'll just take the reciprocal there, and that's going to be negative square root of 34 over 5. And then we can do cotangent theta reciprocal function for tangent. So that's going to be 3 over 5.